Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber. Perth. Perth. Australia. If there is any other Perth there, just just in case, just Perth Australia. Just simple as that. Elimination Chamber. 2024 let's get the predictions going i have these order of the matches here but i'm not sure what is the correct order so i'm just gonna start just just first match a woman's elimination chamber match becky lynch bianca belair liv morgan naomi tiffany stratton raquel rodriguez and my pick for the women's elimination chamber match is of course Tiffany Stratton. It's Tiffy time! All jokes aside, uh, uh, my pick is gonna be Becky Lynch. They're doing Becky versus Rhea too much face-offs and I feel like Becky Lynch is gonna win that one and everyone wants to see Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch and maybe another option is actually Bianca Belair but my solid solid pick is Becky Lynch. Let's go. Big time. Bexty. What? This is the NXT joke. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I. Uh, this. Okay. I'm. I'm going. Next match that I'm really hyped about actually is the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor versus the Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Since the return of Pete Dunne, he's on a roll. They have the tag team type auto opportunity, and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do. But my prediction is that the Judgment Day is gonna retain, unfortunately. I feel like some more credible team should win the titles, even though I would love to see the titles on Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate, but I feel like they're not quite there yet. Maybe next time they have a shot at the tag team titles, maybe they're gonna win it, but maybe not now. Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax. And since we're in Perth, Australia, and uh, it's Elimination Chamber season, such a brutal pay-per-view event, the winner is obvious, and winner will be 1000% Nia Jax. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know why we're even talking about this, like making a pay-per-view match at Australia, when Rhea Ripley is the champ, and Rhea Ripley is there in general. I mean, come on. Last but not least, uh, we have only four matches. I'm, I'm surprised. Usually there are bajillion matches, the pay-per-view goes for hours. But this time, the pay-per-view is gonna be good, because for Bo in Bulgaria it's gonna be lunchtime, and it's gonna be nice. I'm not gonna sit at midnight watching pay-per-view events. Not that I don't enjoy it, of course, but it's not gonna happen this way. Last but not least, the men's elimination chamber match. Are you listening? Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, LA Knight, Kevin Owens, Logan Paul. My pick is, of course, the person who is saying that he's gonna become a double champ, Logan Paul, but of course it's not gonna be him because uh, that's a dumb guess. He's really good. I'm pretty sure that at some point he's going to win the WWE Championship. But the winner of this match is going to be none other than Drew McIntyre. I feel like this is kind of obvious. Drew is like the main character in this whole picture. Uh, even though he's not the main character in this whole Rock, Roman, Cody, Rollins saga. He's kind of being there and i feel like cm punk should have been the one who is facing set at mania but i feel like drew is really dipping his toes into the storyline of him burying the chances of cm punk and he's now gonna win the chamber and he's gonna be at wrestlemania versus set but i feel like this is not a good choice because Seth already beat him and if I need to choose between Seth and Drew, I'm gonna choose Seth to continue his reign, but what's gonna leave that for Drew? My pick is Drew McIntyre uh, winning the chamber and that's it. Uh, Randy Orton is another good option, of course, but I feel like Randy Orton is having some unfinished business with the bloodline uh, and... Uh, on SmackDown in general, LA Knight is kind of in the same boat. Bobby Lashley, why, why is even Bobby Lashley in this match? Just to have 
six person in the match. Logan Paul would be a nice one because he's saying that this is gonna be a rematch from the last year's WrestleMania, which is kind of true. And the person I would love to see winning is actually Kevin Owens, but the story is not there, it's not gonna be fun and yeah, Drew McIntyre for sure skis. So in general, I'm gonna rate Elimination Chamber 2000. It's not rating time? Yeah, valid question. How am I gonna rate it when it's not here yet? Yeah, yeah. That out. Anyway, I'm really hyped about Elimination Chamber mainly because it's gonna be at lunchtime, as I said, and that's a big plus. And I'm really curious to see what the Australian crowd is like. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to see you at the Elimination Chamber, even though I'm not gonna see you at all, except in the next video. <laughs> Peace.